Hello everybody, I'm Hayden from CGY Plane Spotting, and welcome back to the channel. This is my second editing tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to bring out the basic colors in your shots, specifically in golden hour shots. So today, we're going to be editing this shot of an Air Canada A320 on final approach for runway 26 right at YVR. So first of all, we're going to start opening up the file by just basically going to the Opstick section, and if you shoot JPEG, you won't be able to do this, but we're going to go to the Optics section, click Use Profile Corrections, and Remove Chromatic Aberration. And then, once we've done that, we're going to go to the three dots here, and click Enhance. And the presets that I have on here are incorrect. Disable Super Resolution if you have it enabled. Click Denoise, and just wait for the preview to show. As you can see, we've removed noise from the photo. This will help if especially if it's a final approach shot because there will be noise in the belly if you bring up if noise in the belly if you bring out the shadows. So let's enhance this and then I'll fast forward to when it's finished. Okay, so now that this is finished, we're gonna take care of cropping the photo. This personally, in my opinion, is based off of what you think would look good, but in this case, it all depends on the angle, especially if it's a final approach shot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop off part of the wing like this. And I'm going to bring this in. And I would say the point where you would stop is just before the right engine. Or the left engine in... The, the right engine from where we're looking at, but it's actually the left engine. So, now that we've done this, we're going to just click return or you can... I believe it's, you can just click open, but return on a Mac, enter on a Windows, I presume. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to unlock this background layer. Not really much else we need to do. We're going to go to the camera raw filter here, and to bring out some of the details on the belly, especially if it's a black belly, we're going to bring out the shadows just a little bit. As you can see, this has already made a massive difference towards what the aircraft looks like. But this, we're not at all done. So. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up the contrast just a little bit, bring down the highlights a tiny bit, bring up the whites, bring down the blacks. As you can see here, a little before and after. Bring up the clarity a tiny, tiny bit. Dehaze, tiny amount as well. Texture, bring it up to at most 20. This will bring out some of the details on the aircraft, as you can see. We're going to bring up the vibrance to 20 at the max. With the tone curve, we're going to curve the lights up and we're going to curve darks down, but bring the shadows up. As you can see, we've already made a fair bit of progress on this edit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the color mixer section, and we're going to go to the hue, and you can see how this is not very golden right now, and we're going to fix that. So we're going to go to the hue section, click this little uh, target thing, and we want to click onto this and then just move the slider to the left a little bit to kind of increase the goldenness of the shot. We're going to go to the luminance section, bring it up a little bit, bring up the saturation, and for the hue on the blues, we're going to go make that a little bit green and then bring the luminance down. Now that we've done this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to make a linear gradient, and we're going to bring the exposure down from the top. So bring the gradient down like this, bring the exposure down just a tiny bit. And you can see how this has affected the brightness on the plane. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up the highlights to fix that. So you can see now, while this has still affected the brightness on the plane, it still doesn't look bad. We're going to bring up the shadows a little bit as well, so that it doesn't affect the belly. And we're also going to add another linear gradient on the bottom. Bring up the exposure a tiny bit on that. And we're going to add a second gradient here, because I like to do my gradients in layers. So kind of like halfway, or a quarter realistically, but whatever. Bring up the highlights again. Don't need to bring up the shadows, because this is not going to where the belly is. Bring up the contrast just a small bit. You can already see that this has made a difference towards how that gradient looks. And we're going to add another gradient here for the bottom gradient. Bring up the exposure just a little bit. Then we're going to click OK. As you can see, we've already made a massive difference towards how the image looks. 
And now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go here, go back to this, linear gradient, but instead of it going up and down, we're gonna go to the side a little bit. In this case, because the lighting is on this side of the aircraft here, and this gradient is on this side, I'm gonna bring down the exposure a little bit, add some contrast, and on this side, I'm gonna add a gradient over here in this direction, bring up the exposure, and bring up the contrast a tiny bit. You can see that there's a little bit of highlight clipping. We don't care about the histogram right now. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna go to the filter, Topaz Labs, to, if, if you have the plugin installed. Topaz Sharpen AI. And you can just play around with the mode that you're using. I like to have it on motion blur or very noisy because even though it's not a focus shot in most cases, motion blur will still take care of the sharpness that you're missing out on. And this is basically it. My edits are typically a very quick process that doesn't involve much time that takes on them, so, you know, this. some people might find this editing tutorial surprisingly short, especially I tell some people that my editing process typically only takes 20 minutes at most, especially on extreme light recoveries, and some of them are quite surprised by that, so... You know, this is, uh, in my opinion, quite a great method to emphasize the golden hour in your shots and add some gradients as well without screwing up the image. Thank you all for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you next video. Goodbye.